Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your gamepad on your touch based games like FIFA and Mortal Kombat 4. We're going to be doing that by installing an app called TinCore. Now, what TinCore does is it assigns touches and button presses on your screen to actual physical buttons on a gamepad. In this case, you're going to be using a PS3 controller. If you want to use a PS3 controller as well, you will have to download another app called Six Axis Controller, but that one could also be downloaded directly from Google Play. After you have your device set up and tethered to your device, mine is already connected to my HTC One. You can go ahead and open up TinCore and start that service. You know that TinCore is activated once you have this pop-up in your notification drawer. After you have that, go ahead and open up any game that you like. In this case, I'm going to be using FIFA. Now normally when you're playing, you'll be seeing this screen. But what we want to do is add a key map in order to assign that to specific buttons on your controller. So to do that, what you first want to do is take a screenshot of your screen. So to do that, press the volume down and power button. After you have that, you go ahead and open it up. Now that you have the screenshot opened up in a photo editor, all you have to do is bring down the tin core key mapper. All right, now that you've enabled the tin core service, you'll get this screen. All you have to do is make sure to discover your device, then TinCore will be able to start changing the key maps on your screen to your device. So all you have to do now is just make sure you have a new profile selected, scroll down, and you can see that my PS3 controller is being read by my device, and then tap anywhere on the screen and start key mapping your controller. So to do that, all you have to do is long hold a button on your controller and it'll pop up. So I'll make X be sprint. I'll have circle be shoot. Set square as pass. And if you want to start assigning um, your analog sticks, all you have to do is move them in any direction. This is my left analog stick. I'll have that be the directional pad. And then I'll have my right stick be the skill move. You can see here that that arrow is kind of big, so if you want to change the size of that, all you have to do is tap on the screen again. That's stick one. You could just change the zoom size, have it be smaller, and then bring it around. You see here that's pretty much it. You could also assign a button to the start. So select that to be the pause. And there you go, that's pretty much it for the controls. After you have it saved, bring back this menu, tap check mark, change your name to whatever you want, I'll change it to FIFA. Fourteen, tap next, tap done, accept it, and now it'll be saved in your profiles. So now all you have to do is bring back FIFA, make sure that this is enabled, make sure you have your profile set to FIFA 14, tap OK, and then resume the game. Now go ahead and try it out. You can see here that all the buttons correspond to actual touches on the screen. And you can go ahead and pause the game as well. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full breakdown for 10 Core linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.